the burnout of the second stage and the vehicle got a velocity of 4.9 km per second as planned. The cryo stage ignition command was issued as planned by the onboard computer. Indications are that the cryo engine ignited. This is to be confirmed after detailed analysis of the data. However, we saw the vehicle was tumbling, indicating the controllability was lost, most probably as the two vernier engines, again small cryo engines, would not have ignited and developed the necessary control force. The detailed analysis of the flight data would be carried out and we would find out the reasons for the non-ignition of the vernier engines. We would also confirm whether the main cryogenic engine ignited and then we would put all our efforts to ensure that we have the next flight with the indigenous cryogenic engine and stage within an year from now. All our engineers, scientists, technicians and the entire ISRO team have worked very hard to reach this level. It is really the effort of 18 years working on this complex technology. Realization of the cryogenic engine and stage up to a level of flying itself was a major accomplishment. But we need to go a long way and we will do that in the next one year. Thank you.